<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Episode one, goddamn thirty-two, man. Voice of Detroit, man. Podcast MVP, man. We got two motherfuckers in there, man. We got a producer, we got a rapper. To the left of me and shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? He a rapper and shit, man. We got uh, Mr. Experienced Blunt Roller. You know what I'm saying? You already fucking know that. Good shit talker. Talk your shit all night. Motherfucking uh, good rapper and shit, man. Talk, talk to him. Talk to him. Mr. Thirty of those, man. Mr. Thirty of them motherfucking things. Motherfucking big full A, man. What's good with you, bro? Man, what's good, dog? That shit. To the left of him. Uh huh. Fucking six seven ass nigga man. Uh huh. Tall as shit man. Canadian uh basketball player. Fucking <laughs> hooper and shit man. Motherfucking uh a youngin man nineteen man one of the youngest dudes I have on the podcast man producer beat maker new wave Dave you, go, you still go by, go by Paid Dave no oh that shit that was that's that's, that's X huh that's, that's yeah, out of there yeah. <laughs> man what's good with y'all boys just um, just chilling man just woke up hell yeah glad to be here. Hell yeah, yeah, dog. You know he 19 and shit, man. Niggas just be partying all weekend, ain't got nothing to do with this shit, was man. Turned up. Niggas could be sleepy and shit, nigga. Damn. I wish I miss those days I could be sleepy oh, and just fuck around, dog. Here <laughs> but shit, man, we start everything off with a uh, salute me while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Give somebody some flowers who ain't gonna expect the uh, salute. But I don't know if y'all, you know what I'm saying, got girls. It can't be y'all woman. Can't be mom and dad. Shit, I don't think none of y'all got kids and shit. Can't be a kid. So it gotta be somebody out of that uh that typical normal answer. So Y'all got somebody y'all want to go ahead and shoot them motherfucking flowers too? Uh, this one is a broad one. I'm a, I'm gonna shoot. I'm a baseball field. This one. Shout out to all the supporters. Shout out to everybody that come to the shows that I don't know. This. Shout out to the support that I don't ask for, but get it off the love. Like I would never trade in the dollars for the love that I'm getting. Like I mean, the love that I'm getting is what's up. So yeah, shout out to y'all. Y'all the reason why I keep doing this shit. Start even bitches every time. Hell yeah. What about you, Dave? Who you want to get some love to, bro? Uh, shout out to. My fans, you know, I can't do this without y'all. Shout out to my manager, Sean, for going so hard for me. Motherfucking did you know what I'm shit. saying? We, we going up. It's the only one way to go. Yo, yeah, man, I'll, I stopped shouting niggas out, but I'm going to shout out my uh, my grandmother-in-law. Her motherfucking uh, 75th uh, birthday was yesterday, dog. So we had big-ass uh, shindig for her, dog. Shout out to producer Q. He was, he was in that mud taking pictures and sweating and shit. We were drinking a lot of Evan Williams, so we was in that mud blow before the party even started, man. So salute to her, 75, nigga. That's a milestone. Niggas going to dream to, to see 75 years in the game, dog. Man. And she doing good, so shit. She probably, you know what I'm saying, shit. Hopefully she getting up 25 in that motherfucker reach that 100 mark, dog. But shit, man. Before we start, dog, I, I know you, dog. We, we did an episode together. Yes, I know sir. I know Dave and Dave don't even know that I know him, dog. Damn. I, For real? Dave is a Bradford Academy alumni, dog. Right. Dave was he don't know. That's how I know I'm old, bro. I know his little girlfriend he had at the time, dog. I ain't gonna say her name and shit, dog. You wanna say her name? Yeah. Willow and shit, dog. Motherfucker, oh. <laughs> 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 well, Dave don't know his last year at Bradford. It was my first year coaching at Bradford, dog. I coached the fifth and sixth graders, dog. His coach was Mr. Giller and shit, dog. And oh I know God. that this nigga whole starting five was fucking up in their grades. That's why he lost in the playoffs that year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dog, so his first year, I mean, my first year coaching there, dog, was his last year, last year, dog. So I told uh, Sean, like, man, I know that nigga, dog, already. He just don't know that I know him. That's how I know oh, I'm an old head, dog, because this nigga was in eighth grade. Now this nigga making beats and shit, man. <laughs> but... How y'all year, year been, man? Tell me about y'all year. It's 2022, man. Shit almost over. Summer about over. How y'all year been so far? Shit, man. We, uh, it's it's fourth quarter season where I'm at with it. You know what I'm saying? We, uh, what up, my nigga Terrence? Uh, we in this bitch. I'm just working on more music, bro. I'm trying to push out like two, three more tapes before the year end. I just dropped Unk House. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, everything is just looking up right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We're going to keep pushing. Yeah, hey, what about you, Dave? How, how you year? I ain't gonna lie to it. We took over the summer. I've been starting to throw parties and stuff. Like, every single party been going crazy. For sure. I just got my plaque for the Baby Tron song I produced. You know what I'm saying? They just confirmed me for my plaque. I'm about to order that, John. Have a little get together for that, for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. Hey, nice to Baby Tron. I know you did beats for, uh, shit, uh, uh, what, Cash Kid? Yeah, I did a beat for was, Cash yeah, Kid back in the day. It was a, a collab with, uh, with, uh, 
I'm a fool boy Marley, motherfucker solid, cash down, shit like that, dog. Like, yeah, yeah, I remember that one too. Yeah, you know, you're a younger dog. Like, how, how I feel you getting people that's in the city that's known, you know, saying hopping on your beats, dog. How that shit be feeling? Stepping on shit. I mean, it's cool, yeah. but it's crazy because, like, in the producing game now, like, with the internet advanced and stuff, like, yeah. I'm old, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, speak on that dog. Why you say that dog? Like why why you why you feel like Bro, you know, these kids this? are crazy. <laughs> What's like, the craziest shit somebody that did? Bro, no, it's not like even crazy. It's just crazy like they're just so good at a young age because yeah. of the internet is just putting out oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. people our age can do it. So yeah. it's like 12, 14 year olds yeah. getting placements, like real placements, like with young boy and yeah. Hell little yeah. baby. Hell yeah, dog. But see that's because niggas don't know how to use that internet shit, dog. Like if you use that shit right, nigga, you can go ahead and nigga, like you said, be 12, 13, making some bread, making right. some money, man, for real, for real. Exactly. Ain't got never work a day in your life, man. Exactly. Say, how y'all feel about the working life, y'all niggas? Like, hell no, that shit ass. <laughs> you gotta work from home, bro. That shit, or, you know, do what you, you know what I'm saying, do with the ones and twos. But yeah, you gotta, that job shit is ass, bro. Them niggas really don't fuck with you. They don't care about you. You're replaceable in their eyes. And for sure. But if you gotta work the job, work the job to, do what you want to do You know what I'm saying Ain't nothing yeah. wrong with a job Being broke is You know what I'm saying Nigga hell yeah Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. What's some shit y'all learned About yourself this year man mm. Procrastination is the funniest thing ever really? Cause then I sit there And keep doing it <clears throat> But then it's like After I finish what I was doing I still do it I'm like alright bro Take done Alright we're gonna do the visuals Then we working on the visuals Then it's like Alright let's smoke and party yeah. And then it's like Damn what we gonna do After we smoke and party <laughs> A smoking party again because yeah. we because because the music out and they like the music so we smoking and we partying yeah, yeah, to the music so it's like man procrastination though it's like writing shit down getting that shit off the uh we knocking shit off the list this year yeah. man, fourth quarter shit what's some shit you learned today bro no cocky shit I'm that nigga like around my age <laughs> group, man like that shit. <laughs> Talk crazy hey, hey. Real it was like bro. Nobody can really do the shit I do, bro. Like, <laughs> like, bro, like, all the parties I pulled, all the records I dropped, bro. Yeah. Like, that's all, like, without just, like, knowing what I'm doing. Like, sure, just, yeah, just still, doing it. Yeah, yeah, still making mistakes saying? and shit, dog. Like, I'm still at a very early age, even though the game is getting younger. So yeah. I still got time to, like, okay, bro, just, like, you know, get all my legal stuff together. Yeah. And by the time I'm, like, 21, nobody's yeah. gonna be, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. 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 Yeah, yo, yo, shit, dog. You trying to know shit? Hey, yeah. dog. Hey, hey, Diddy, dog. I know what you're doing, bro. <laughs> I know why you got young, dog, man. No, that shit, though. For you to be, I, you, okay. You say you the shit, man. You feel like nigga this year I'm the shit, though. What's some shit that that you feel that's holding you back, though? Like what's some shit that you you got to you know get past? You know what I'm saying? To get over that hump. Man, I basically just need a home studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You for know sure. what I'm saying? I need a, a a studio that I could call home so I can just like get in the lab and just work. Yeah, hell yeah. If I had that, I would have been out of here. Yeah, Me yeah, and Sean yeah. would have been in Cali. Uh, uh, what's, so that's some shit you working on now, getting you a, a studio or whatever? Mm -hmm. That's what's up. What, what's your hell you bet, Fule, man? Promotion and getting too stuck in my ways yeah. I get I get to a point where I set a goal I get to the goal and I'm like shit I'm comfortable I don't yeah. feel like I, you know what I'm saying this is what I wanted this is what I was talking about this is what we achieved I hit the bitch now what you know what I'm saying <laughs> so now it's like it's like shit like now now what the fuck do we do so it's just like I said we you know writing that shit back down on the checklist and we we knocking that shit off but it's like shit once you speak about some shit and you get it you ain't even think you was gonna get that yeah. so when I when I hit them goals and it's like damn we just hit 10 of them bitches in a row like for sure. What else can we do? Yeah, you you have y'all got niggas that check y'all though. Like you got niggas that check you. Like man, Flick, you on some bullshit, bro. You got to. Yeah. You but gotta you 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 gotta have at least two niggas that you not scared to call a bitch or a motherfucker. <laughs> and, no. and, and and they're not gonna take it to heart. Like bro, you gotta like the conversation isn't normal if that shit ain't like. Yeah. Bro, why the fuck you record that? Why the fuck is you doing that? Why is you? No. You know what I'm saying? Why why do you think them song placements was gonna line up like that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like people gotta really. Had people in that corner said them yes man yes man only cool for going to the store. <laughs> like, no, for sure you need a nigga to check you and you gotta be able to get checked and you gotta know that that nigga coming with love nigga ain't no hate shit that nigga checking you because he wanna see you do your thing. This nigga is at fourteen out of fifteen of your shows nigga. This nigga is speaking that shit from the heart. That no. nigga ain't trying to you know what I'm saying for like sure. nigga, he there every time like he just wants your shit to shine straight. Hell yeah, what about you Dave? Who that nigga could tell you dog Dave you on some bullshit bro like and get your shit together cuz. I say. 
the only person outside my friend group that can just tell me, okay, Dave, you want some bullshit? Yeah. It's my mom. Oh, for real, she check your ass? Hell yeah, nigga. She, she always gonna check you, nigga. <laughs> yeah. I, I but give do you it listen, though, because all yeah. young niggas, dog, don't be giving a fuck about what everybody say, dog, sometimes. No, that's the good part about me. That's why everybody can work with me, because yeah. I just listen. Yeah, you know for what sure. I'm for sure. Hell yeah, dog. You can go a long ways, dog. Yeah. Now, dog, we in here, man. Y'all, nigga, I know you a thug, man. I am not a thug, You know what I'm saying? We got Dave already young, so you know what I'm saying? I'm but, thug, you know what I'm saying? Bro. I always ask this question, bro, now. This is some shit I've been asking for the last couple episodes, dog. Last time you got good crying, dog. Let me know, man. I know y'all niggas ain't too hard to give me that, that story. <laughs> I think Dave Scratch is like good cry. <laughs> yeah, nigga. All right, when was your last one? Oh, much of my last cry? Yeah. Oh, damn. It was so, man. I'm a, I, sometimes, since my OG passed away, dog, I can get most off of the bullshit, dog. Dog, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I remember, um, I tell you last time I had a little teary eye moment, dog. My, my daughter, dog, she started walking. She's mm. she been walking for a minute, but that's the one I can remember, like, nigga, like, damn, like, nigga. Like, when you become a parent, bro, and then it be like little shit, like, my oldest son, nigga, is 15. So it's like, dog, once you start seeing, all right, he getting older, nigga, so now you got a batch. I got two little ones. One six, one, uh, about to be two. So, nigga, when she started taking some steps, nigga, I'm like, nigga, I got a little teary eye, cut a little emotional, nigga, like, shit, nigga, drop the thud tear, man. Man, last time I cried, I don't know, bro. Yeah, I know you dog hoes, so you ain't emotional, cuz. Dog. <laughs> you <think it's> <laughs> dog. Oh my god, dog. Like a dope boy cash out this bitch, dog. No, hell no. They be they be on some bullshit. That's why I be on some bullshit back, dog. But no, um, it's nothing against a good cry though. I will speak on it though. Ain't yeah, nothing ain't, healthy, ain't nothing against dude. a good cry. It prevents headaches. So yeah. shit. I'll be like every time every motherfucker be like, bro, I got a headache, bro. I'm like, shit, my nigga, you gotta you know what I'm saying, you gotta get you a good cry in, nigga. You got yeah. too much you got too much stress build up. You gotta let that shit rain real quick, yeah. nigga. Yeah, yeah, what's up? What's shit? Full ain't cry, nigga. What what about you, Dave, dog? Uh, the last time I cried was like in like like a good cry, like just letting everything out was yeah, like yeah, 2019 yeah. and this is what jump started my career. Yeah. So like I had a cousin, like this was like my sister at the time, like you know, I just had a rough childhood. I was just bullshitting ninth, ninth and tenth grade. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I just didn't even want to hoop. I just wanted to just bullshit around. She cut into me the hardest yeah, ever. Hell yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'll go hard for you. Yeah, for sure. And I couldn't even show her because she passed away in 2019. Oh, there shit, man. It's the peace killer. To a car crash. Damn, you know that's what how I'm my, uh, yep, my cousin, man, we was just, we was same age, man. She passed at 20 because of a car crash. Yeah. yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Like... I was like, I got to go hard for my baby. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. I couldn't do it through hooping because that was the COVID year. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going hard that 11th grade year, then May. Yeah. Year, gone. Damn. So I was like, okay, let me try it with these beats. So yeah. I was just bored and I was just making beats. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'm cold at this shit. Got yeah. my first little placement. <laughs> I ain't even know it. Hell yeah, for sure. For sure, dog. Hey, man, I can see, dog, hey, you going to do some shit, dog, because you... Nigga, I was just talking about some shit before you got here about how young niggas don't talk. Nigga, young niggas don't listen, damn. This nigga listen ass talking nigga, dog. So, shit, <laughs> you good to go, bro. You good to go. Now, talk, but um, talk about, um, because I know Fule, uh, you know what I'm saying, background, how he came up, dog. But like you said, you had, you know, a little rough childhood and shit. You still a kid, though, but. <laughs> talk about growing up, bro, as a, as a I ain't gonna lie. super I'm, young day. I'm suburban as shit. Like, yeah. it ain't nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, it's more of a mental thing, like, just growing up in a single household, just having my mom, like, as the mom and the dad. Yeah. Just growing up with, like, trying to know that side of the family, but, like, not trying to know the side of the family. It's all, like, a mental game. For sure. Then sure. just like, just trying to go through school, who, yeah. yeah. music, music. Hell yeah. then all this other stuff, just trying to stay leveled and like yeah. trying to stay out of like that other bullshit mm -hmm. while everybody else is popularizing it, yeah, popularizing yeah, it, just yeah, making it sure. popular, yeah. you know Man. what I'm saying, I'm just. Now with your, with your pops now, do you know your pops? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, do you have like any relationship at all now? Kinda, yeah. yeah. That should be like, kind of like a 50 year old. Like, your day-to-day, -day, your life and shit, like, maybe not, nigga, trusting people and shit, because, you know what I'm saying, your pops wasn't around shit. I ain't trying to make this shit too, you know, uh, emotional. Though. I'm too it's old, enough. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, like, at the age where I'm, like, eight, I'm over 18, so yeah. it just doesn't really affect me no more, because I I know where I'm trying to get to go. Yeah, for you sure. You be feeling like you got to prove a point, though, because of that? Like, to, like, nigga, I got to prove a point. Like, nigga, I, nigga, mom's raised me, but shit, I'm, a, you know, I'm going to get this shit. Not for real. Yeah. Like I, I'm just, I just really overcame that over the years. You know, I'm just, I'm just like I had to put 
Dave down so I could be New Wave Dave. Hell yeah, nigga. Hell you know yeah, talk shit, man. Hell yeah. Oh, shit, I forgot. What, your your pops was around for it? Yeah, he was around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, he was around. Y'all good? Y'all good? He, he around still? Yeah, he's still around, but our shit just... Our shit rocky, though, but... Yeah. That's my nigga, though. I, it's just like... You just gotta get over that shit. Yeah. It be like what it be like. That ain't the correct answer, but it's like... Niggas is here for you. Mm-hmm. And shit, whatever way that they try their best to be, just yeah. accept them in that. But my best advice to people that do try to rekindle shit is fuck with them how you want to fuck with them and make sure that they respect your boundaries. Hell yeah. And Hell yeah. Because they you can't let them niggas come dictate how the relationship going to be like, nigga, you was gone, bro. Like, like bro, and about? then motherfuckers feel so entitled and you know how that shit, and then we arguing about that bullshit. So it's like, no, nigga, I'm fucking with you. Yeah. I'm fucking with you and we going to rock like that. If you don't like that shit, yeah, nigga, shit, do what you been doing, nigga. <laughs> no, that shit be so motherfucking simple. Man. Don't make it complicated. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, dog, growing up, nigga, like, you, you said you been doing beats since seventh grade, hooping and shit, dog. You been doing music, but what's some what's some silly shit, dog, growing up that y'all wanted to be and y'all never told nobody, dog? Like me, nigga, I wanted to be a tap dancer. I wanted to be a karate kid, nigga, like... I want to do all that shit though. What's some silly shit? Dude? I wanted to go crazy in baseball. Oh, for real, big baseball. Yeah, day? I would have. I would have. Yeah, I was trying to fuck some shit up, <laughs> but I never like. I never engaged with it. I never was like, oh, let me try with this shit. I was like, damn, I would. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah. never fuck with that shit. Though. Outside of those two things, was there anything else you was ever interested in though that you never like? Man, fuck that. I thought about it for one day, but I ain't doing that shit for real. Uh, I always see myself in music, but yeah. I would say, motherfucking. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> uh, fucking manager. Oh, for real? Like what? Music, man- music, music manager. manager. Oh, yeah, some, yeah, yeah. some that got to do with music. Yeah, yeah. It's always music though. Yeah. yeah man. Now let me ask you this, dog. Because like I say, I know, I know about you hooping, and then I listen to other podcasts you was on. Was you forced to hoop, dog? Like when niggas kind of forcing you to hoop, and because they don't seem like like hooping was a passion of yours. It's something that you could do because you knew you could do it. You had the advantage because you were bigger than niggas. It's like was you forced to do that shit? Was niggas like Dave? You got hoop. You you tall, bro. Go hoop. Damn near, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but I just love, I don't know, I love fans. That's the thing with me. Yeah. Like, that's how I know I'm gonna make it, because, like, I just love fans, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's part of why I did it, too. But, like, Far-Zupin? like you said, yeah, yeah, like like you said, it it was kind of forced. Yeah. Like, I just did it because I know I could do it. Yeah. And it's just, like, people just pushing the be a school athlete, go to college yeah. and shit. College is pointless now, bro. Yeah, no, for sure. Talk on the shit. You, this your second year at Wayne State, man. You you hooping for him. Like, do you feel like you doing yourself an injustice by hooping? Like, knowing you like, I, I love this music shit, though. Like you say, you talk heavy about, nigga, I'm the shit, nigga. I ain't got placements with it. Niggas, like, like, do you feel like, nigga, all right, nigga, I'm just doing this shit, like, whatever. It is what it is, or, like. Bro, I quit Wayne State already. Oh, for real? The hooping? Oh, shit, so you done. When you make that decision? I made it in like May, yeah. but like finalized it like right now on the podcast. So, oh man. shit, damn, that's exclusive, Ooh. nigga. Damn, exclusive right here, dog. Now, shit, what? All right, nigga. So you, you hey, you let the coach know, like, yeah, you know, because I, mean, I say, everybody, y'all starting conditioning all that shit, so you know. You know. So what, 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 what was that like, dog? Like, dog, you making a mistake? Like, you fucking up? Like, how many people have told you you making a mistake doing this shit? Uh, like. Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dog. But people that hear my music, they'll say otherwise. They'll be like, yeah, fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I said, nigga, if, if you ain't 100% in that shit, ain't no point even wasting your time or other niggas' time. Because, shit, that spot that you got, that roster spot, that scholarship spot, yeah. shit, another yeah. nigga had that shit. Mm-hmm. Now, you don't think there's going to be something that you... I know music going to work out, dog. You young as hell. Look, you got your head on right. Like, you ain't going to think you... Because I tell my son, dog, like, my son about to be 16. And I'm like, dog, like, I tell him, if you're going to hoop, nigga, don't do it for me. Do it because you want to. I love hooping, but, nigga, don't make that decision based off me. Do you ever see yourself, like, I tell him, be a kid, bro, because you ain't going to be a kid for so long, then you're going to be a duck for a long-ass time. Like, is this something, like, you 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 concrete with, dog? You ain't going to ever look back, like, damn, I should have did the hoop and shit. I mean, sometimes, I ain't going to lie, sometimes I be looking at Michigan State campus, I was like, damn, I should have put that extra uh, in it mm-hmm. so I can be down with there with them, but it's just some shit like that. Yeah. I never think of like, damn, I love basketball. Yeah. I should have just kept hooping outside, just going hard, just yeah. lifting. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, bro, this music shit so turnt, bro, yeah, especially yeah. right now. Yeah, for, not for sure, especially with Detroit, too. Like, exactly. Niggas looking at us heavy. Exactly. Yeah. Damn, man. No, that's, no, that's dope. I'm glad that you, you know what I'm saying, you got that shit 
in you to be like, dog, I'm good, dog. Like, fuck what y'all say, nigga. That's what I do. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck how tall I am. Because we used to be in the hood, like, nigga, you tall? What the fuck you mean? You ain't hooping. We used to be those niggas, dog. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm, I'm older than y'all, so I used to be like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, nigga, hoop. Nigga, you can't do shit, nigga. You you clowning niggas because they don't hoop because they, they tall, dog. I mean, if you tall and literally can't do anything, yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> <That> <laughs> I know music, I can draw, yeah. I can create, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm just a valuable tall nigga, I just yeah. so happen to be tall. <laughs> I'm gonna show my son this part, you talking about this shit, dog, because like I said, he be trying to get his, his shit, and I be feel like sometimes he just hoop just because, like, I don't know if he really love that shit. Bro, do what you want to do as long as you got motion, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, but yeah. don't, but I, I tell him, don't quit some shit. And you ain't got nothing else to do. Like, you just That's sitting there chilling. Saying. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. As long as you got motion, just do whatever you want to do. As long as you, you know what I'm saying, just moving forward. Yeah, dog. What about Aid, dog? You, you be on some bullshit. You say you be on some bullshit sometimes, dog. You know what I'm saying? Is it anything you looking back on now? Like, man, like, fuck. Maybe it's the way you started music, dog. Maybe it's the way you, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you ever bitch even go back and change some shit? Because you see, dog say he quit hooping. Like, nigga, he fucked that. And he ain't got no regrets. Like, is it something that you regret? From your, you know what I'm saying, early years? No, I did football. I, I was supposed to take it more serious than I took it, but I fucked with that music shit. Like, music shit was hard. Like, I always wanted to do it, but then when I fell in love with it, it was like, damn, this shit is actually happening. And yeah. it's like, I'm actually doing it, and it's actually still happening. And yeah, it's like, sure. I'm still doing it, and it's actually, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, nigga, like, I, I still... Haven't lost the thrill in the bitch. I right. still love it. I still damn near get butterflies when I'm yeah. about to do this shit. Like yeah. everything else is boring to me. Yeah. Like right. I, I can't even play the game anymore. Like <laughs> how I used to be. Like, I, yeah. I remember. Oh, that shit I, I used to be six eight. I, I could do a shift on that bitch. Yeah. Now it's like, all right, my nigga, I'm gonna give you probably 15, 30 minutes, bro, and I'm. Yeah. That shit over, bro. I, I see. And, and both y'all, like I said, both y'all young. You say you 25, day 19, like. Nigga, that's the one thing I'm mad about. I ain't find like a passion for something until I got older. Like I started coaching when I was like what 29. Started doing this podcast like you know what I'm saying two or three years ago. So it's like nigga, if you find that passion young, nigga, shit, attack that motherfucker, dog. Cause I ain't gonna lie, nigga, I had a lot of years, nigga, just wasting bullshit, nigga, worry about nigga who can I fuck and <laughs> nigga, that, that, that's it, dog. Like you know what I'm saying? Worry about nigga when I'm going to the club, what I'm gonna wear to that motherfucker, dog. And it wasn't nigga, I had no goals, nigga, back then, bro. I had son, nigga, my only goal was to take care of him. So good. nigga, so y'all y'all got women in y'all lives, nigga. Oh yeah. Hell no, dog. Y'all in the <laughs> bro. You gotta mop the ocean first, but man, that dating pool fucked up. Everybody just doing whatever they do. Shit. Yeah. We got, we got people, you know, together because of the rent high as fuck. But that's, <laughs> that's their prerogative. Whatever song that was. No, niggas. No, that's fucked up. Niggas be in relationship just be able to pay the rent, dog. <laughs> Nigga, it'd be like that though. They try their best. Nigga, some uh, niggas, there's some parents out here who just together just because they can't make it. It's by a itself. nigga feeding six kids right now that's not his. <laughs> <Dog>. <laughs> that nigga got that shit poor. He got that shit meal prepped as fuck. Dog, that's and, funny as hell, and, dog. And Tupperware like a motherfucker. Yeah. Now, Dad, we talk about your little young relationship you had, man. You probably fucked up my team and shit a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, in fact, we'll say Miracle is cold. Mm -hmm. Mir Miracle. Remember Miracle Sneed? Like as a basketball player, yeah, she, she was, was nice. cool. Yeah, she was nice. Oh, yeah, was I remember her. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just had to think about who you was talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was on my. She was the only person on my team cool for real, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no. Nah, but uh, as far as like relationship, bro, you, that's something you don't think about that shit. You like, nigga, fuck that. I, I'm just messing with the chicks and shit, dog. Uh, I tried it. It did not go good at all. So I'm just yeah. done, bro. For the for, yeah. until I get up, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Find me a little Kim. <laughs> Hey, oh yeah. Now, uh, who, 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 who y'all first favorite rapper and first favorite producer, or both? Like, like the for real first answer. Like, like not like the cool shit. Like, nigga. No, my nigga Big L. I, I fuck with my nigga Big L. That's why, cause I seen his freestyle shit. Yeah. So that's why I get my freestyle. As far as producers though. Yeah. Give me Zaytoven. I love what him and Gucci did. That was a crazy yeah. ass. Yeah, it was a good little shit. That man. was that was a crazy get together. See, nigga, my first favorite producer was Manny Fresh though. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. That's what Cash Money, nigga. I'm like, nigga, like, God damn, who making these beats? And you gotta understand, nigga, he was making every beat for Cash Money, nigga. Every artist, it was just him. And that hurt him too, cause Baby had that nigga in a chokehold. Like, that nigga didn't get to work with nobody outside of that shit till he got older. Man. Like, imagine that nigga on like some niggas just fucking around with like, nigga, if he got hold of Jay Z or like just other niggas other than the Cash Money camp back then. That nigga would have took off even shit. He would be a more of a legend than what he is. Hell yeah. What about you, Dave? Who your first favorite rapper and producer, man? I ain't gonna lie. 
Main, you gotta separate it. Mainstream with Detroit. Go ahead. Mainstream Lil Wayne, Wayne all mm -hmm. fucking day. For sure. Hell yeah. Detroit, bro. Yeah. That's kind of hard because everybody rap about the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> no. So I just gotta pick who does it the best. Yeah. Uh. Damn. It's like, bro. I really fuck with Cash Kid, but he gotta be more consistent. Yeah, yeah, that nigga do be kind of like in and out a little bit. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all heard of Cash Gang Key? I yeah. like his music. I, don't, I gotta get him. I like his music, but he just fire. beef with the whole yeah. city. <laughs> yeah, he has a lot of like uh, you can't play his shit everywhere. Yeah, 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 man. Duh. His shit fire though. His beats fire as fuck too. Yeah. What about the producers you fuck with in the, in the city? Anybody you fuck with, or anybody inspire you from the city though? Uh, when I first started out, I was inspired by Meech. Yeah. But like, on a YouTube tip, bro, it's yeah. this nigga named Soren, bro. This nigga's the future, bro. For real? Yeah, this white dude, black dude. The, I don't know what he is. <laughs> that's the that's the beauty of the internet. Yeah, you don't even gotta know yeah. what he is, bro. Mm -hmm. the nigga's just hard. Niggas gotta have a Niggas is crazy. But the main person I pro like produce like, like get most of my inspiration from, his name is Icy Twat. He from Chicago. Shout out to him. Yeah, yeah. He shout hard. out. Hell yeah, dog. Now, uh, Fule, man, what happened to Guap Getters, man? <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment, man. <laughs> you know, even though you've been in the bitch one time, nigga, I still do my research, dog. This nigga's hilarious, dog. <laughs> oh, my fucking yeah, God. Guap Getters. Hold on. I'm trying to think yeah, who the yeah, fuck. Sorry. Okay. Who the fuck, uh... Who's that? Shout out to my nigga uh, Deontay. Shout out to my nigga Marcus. No, it was just three of us, bro. We was in a uh, rap group. We was just trying to get this shit together. We literally had three different styles and shit. And yeah. then niggas just grew apart. It was just like shit. Niggas was like, I'm gonna do this style. Yeah. They did that and they, but no, that shit was that shit's hilarious. That shit was like middle school going into high school, bro. Like, yeah, yeah go out get her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah, bro. This is gonna be the, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, I think that's like swag surfing and shit that came out. Like, yeah, bro. He's like, hell yeah, we gonna be going like, yeah. yeah. But I was still in love with the shit back then, too. So it was yeah. like, but I think that was my uh, biggest fuck up, too. Like, I was always trying to, like, be around, support motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Help they shit out and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Being groups and shit. But no, being by yourself and independent is, like, really, like, where the move is at. It's yeah, like, yeah. Hell and yeah. then shit, it be straight as fuck. Listen, man, y'all niggas ain't gonna go on no show, man. Niggas ain't gonna break up that you play for Bradford. Niggas ain't gonna break up the guap getting this <laughs> nigga. Like, niggas ain't gonna do that shit, bro. No, that shit was hilarious as fuck. I was like, <laughs> damn, know, what the true. fuck? Man, man, hell yeah, dog, hell yeah. Now, dog, with uh, goddamn Dave, man. Uh, I, I, I knew, like I said, I knew you as a younger man. You was hooping. I didn't know you made beats until uh, f the fuel shit, the beat battle. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when uh, Deshaun was uh, talking about you, whatever. Fuse came on the show, was talking about you, dog. Like, how that shit go? Like, for a nigga, AOA Mafia, niggas been working with some dope ass rappers and shit, and him to like, tell you, like, dog, yo shit dope. Like, how that, how that, how that motherfucking make your, e your ego even bigger, dog? Like, and you got a legend in the game that's telling you that you dope, nigga. Like, how that shit was? I ain't gonna lie. As soon as the stuff was over. Yeah. Just getting my phone it was ringing. Posted a picture of Fuse. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, it was co it was cold. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. But it's like now that I'm older, and I realize that all of them was just groupies and just <laughs> wanted to be around me just because of that. Yeah. I'm like, sure. damn, that shit was kind of ass. <laughs> yeah, we get, yeah, we get. No, for sure. Niggas will fuck with you because they think of where you gonna go. Niggas will applaud your your achievements, but then when they see you in the motherfucking process of building. They ain't saying shit. They ain't saying, nigga, Dave, go, Dave. You shit, Dave. But as soon as you post that motherfucking picture with somebody, oh, Dave, you doing it, bro. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> That's how it be, dog. You got to be careful about them niggas, too, dog. Niggas will be niggas on, 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 on Johnson, nigga, just because of that shit, dog. Thinking that you could take them somewhere and shit. Hitting agendas and shit. Then they mad as hell because they don't get the same experience that they see you having yeah. with somebody else. How y'all social media game, man? Especially, like, nigga, like I said, I'm going to go back to y'all being young. A lot of times... Motherfuckers don't use that social media right. A lot of times they don't promote themselves heavy enough for people to see what they got going on. Like, how's y'all with social media though? Do y'all feel like y'all use that shit wisely or y'all like it is what it is? I try my best to use it, but yeah. it's that stupid ass algorithm now that they put up in there. So you gotta know what time to post, <laughs> you know what time. To, and then it's like you be they be shadow banning when or whatever the fuck they call that shit now. Certain followers, so you lose like you gotta just be engaged. I guess all day or some shit. No, you do. But that technology shit is so damn like. Updating every fucking five minutes, so I ain't keeping up with that shit, bro. I try my motherfucking best. What about so you, Dave? Because, like, young motherfuckers don't post shit, nigga. They post a picture of them, and that's it, dog. Like, <laughs> blurred lines and shit, nigga, and nothing else, dog. Like, I don't know what you've been seeing, but my age, bro, you gotta be on it, bro. Yeah. But it's like, 
For me, bro, my beat page don't really slap like my main page do. Yeah. Like my beat page got like five thousand. My my uh main page got like five k. So yeah. I'm just on there posting. Okay, five hundred, five hundred. Yeah, your, your your beat page do. You said five thousand. No, nah, five hundred. Yeah, yeah, on yeah, my yeah, beat yeah. page, yeah. But shit, like. Mm -hmm. I just like post a picture of myself because like that's what gets the most content and then I post a beat that's yeah. how I've just been playing it lately I haven't been on my beat page at all for real yeah do y'all be looking like damn hold on how the fuck I got these niggas following my main page y'all see my beat page on this motherfucker like why y'all not going over there and look at what I'm doing you ever be thinking like that niggas be slow <laughs> media. I'm talking about like and even from an artist standpoint like you you will literally have like a booking or a, you know, inquiry for a verse email yeah. and niggas are still DM you like, what's up with the verse? What's up with the show? And it's like, yeah, nigga, yeah. the shit is right there. Like, why you don't reading this fundamental? <laughs> no, for sure. So. Niggas, niggas is, man, crazy as hell, dog. What, what's your process, man, when create, man? Like, I'm, I'm interested in uh, both of y'all answers, dog. Dave, do you, like, when you make a beat, are you thinking about a certain artist in mind when you're making this beat or are you just making that shit in you? Are you, like, like nigga, thinking about, like, who this gonna go to, who this gonna care to? You know what I'm saying? Like, how y'all how y'all process is when y'all creating, man? Shit. I usually, uh, the first song usually builds around the whole thing. Like, the first two songs that I do. The whole project? Yeah. It's yeah. like, damn, I have however them two songs come out. It's like, all right, bet, we gonna build, you know what I'm saying, around that and then shit. That's how I take come out usually. Yeah. What about you, Dave? What's your, what's your process? You got somebody in mind? You just, you just, nigga, hearing this shit and making it? Uh... If I'm not making from scratch, if I'm working with a sample, mm -hmm. I usually pull up a picture on, like, Pinterest or something, you yeah. know what I'm saying, and just, like, shit, just build around what the picture looks like to me, mm -hmm. like, what I think was going on in the picture. Yeah, hell yeah. Now, dog, because you started this shit seventh grade, dog, you young, 12, niggas, they think about beats, they think about motherfucking... 2K and motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> what, what made you, like, dog, like, nigga, I'm gonna get into this shit at, at 12. Bro, because I always wanted to be a rapper when I was little. That was the payday shit? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it's like, bro, the thing I was using, I was making beats on my phone. Yeah. So I was like, like, you couldn't really, like, put a fucking beat on there. Mm -hmm. with, like, just downloading it. You had to make your own shit on GarageBand. So I'm yeah. like, damn, I can't rap without no beat. Yeah, yeah. I ain't no acapella ass thing. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> okay, I got to learn this shit. I ain't do no YouTube videos. Just me by myself in yeah. the lab just learning this shit. Yeah. Took, like, five years. I mastered this shit on my phone. Yeah. I was like, this shit getting too easy. And it don't <laughs> sound right. So I just moved to the computer, like, literally... Like a last month. Yeah, hell yeah. Now, what you doing on your phone? Niggas looking like, nigga, huh? oh, fuck, like, how about, like, nigga, what? Because you don't really hear make niggas like really mastering making beats on the phone. Mm -hmm. So, it's niggas like you trying to go ahead, like, all right, I was trying to sell my beats. It's niggas looking like, nigga, how that shit gonna sound on the phone? Like, you wasn't in the studio, legit studio. Like, do niggas ever look at you like that or ask you those questions? I tell them after the fact. Okay. Then they be like, damn, what the fuck? Huh? Like, <laughs> surprise. Exactly. That, that's what really, really, that's what really gets them every time. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Now, dog. With this music shit, dog, you need so much, dog. You need a team. You need this. You need that. I'm gonna go you, but with you, you found your manager, man. A nigga named Diddy, uh, aka Deshaun, man. And um, that nigga, you know, what I'm saying he kind of good nigga to have on your team, man. He a little, you know, he all right to have around and shit, man. Like nigga make some moves, make some plays and shit, man. Scream a little bit. But uh, what made you trust him, man? Be your manager, man. Young age, man. You, you know, what I'm saying what you seen in him, like all right, I can fuck with this dude. I don't know, like, cause like. <laughs> I met him at the beat battle really? last year. He was on your head afterwards, like, Dave, Dave, you got to get this shit out. <laughs> like, I did, before that, I did have managers, people trying to be my manager come up to me. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know, they seen the money side. I feel like he actually cared. Yeah, You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, he'll make sure I'm actually good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, for sure. That nigga carrying ass nigga, man, a little bit. And, <laughs> shit, and he was on top of it, too, so, like, no, yeah, that's sure. all you can ask for from a manager, for real. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that nigga, uh, he a part-time manager at mine, too, man. You don't know it yet, though. <laughs> when shit take off, man, nigga, he part of the team, dog. What about you, bro? Do you like? You feel like you need to work You know, work with a manager? You need to get a team? Or you, you know what I'm saying? You do talk to me. Uh, shit. From my standpoint, it's like I just get where I get help where the weak points is at. Mm -hmm. You know, marketing, distribution, promo team. Shit that I know, like, I know that I wasn't going to push myself to do for sure, yeah. you know had a label or had somebody push that shit for me and shit hell yeah hell yeah so shit you you you, you looking for a manager or you like nigga fuck that 
<laughs> that manager shit is man. That shit, I don't know if that shit gonna work out because he got to be able to check me. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what his intentions is. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. and then now in this stage and age, you can go viral in a matter of three yeah. seconds. You know no, what I'm saying? So, so yeah. what the fuck is um, unless he's gonna get me in a crazy room and I couldn't get myself in? Me yeah. and me and that manager really ain't got shit to talk about. Like, or like, like or you would rather like if it was my you kind of like built with on your on your way up and shit. Like, Hell yeah, 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 that should be. Because a lot of times, dog, you be seeing these niggas who've been working with people, bro, on the way up. And then as soon as that money come into play, niggas just do your own separate thing, dog. Niggas and that just, shit dumb. That come with groups, that come with homies, that come with whatever, dog. It's like the money is separating niggas, dog. So easy, man. Or them contracts, they ain't read them bitches and they found out that niggas' payouts was different than other <laughs> niggas' shit. And they like, hold on, this nigga getting 100000 in the show and I'm only getting 10000 Man. Yeah, nigga, you only got four verses on the song, nigga. No, for sure. <laughs> so, shit, shit, dude, he the reason why they coming out, nigga. You just... Fast, fast. Yeah. Now, I want to know this, dog. I think this came from Fool A, but I think both of y'all could probably answer this, dog. You just, you know what I'm saying, you um, posted something, you said, my darkest days gave me my, my brightest nights. Man. Talk about that, man. You was like, you know, you, what, what, was <laughs> what was going on with you, uh, Man, well, shit, I was in the midst of, I mean, like I said, I'm trying to do two, three more tapes, you know what I'm yeah. saying, for the a year end, and that's probably one of the tapes I'm uh, building around on. P, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be called P.O.P., uh, yeah. Plants Over Pills, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, everybody gets this. I try to tell, I think I said this shit last time uh, I was on here. You don't have a fucked up day. It's just 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, you just because you're having a fucked up day, you get your brightest nights. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to really, like, shine through that shit. Keep going. It's no need to stop. You know what I'm no, saying? You got to sure. keep going through that shit. What about you, Dave, man? What gets you, like, through through little rough little times, man, in your life, man? Thinking about everything my mom did for me. Yeah. Growing up. Yeah. Uh, just thinking about all the people that said I'm ass. Like, very <laughs> few people. Yeah, I think no, about sure. them all the time when yeah. I'm, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't really get that a lot. So when I get that, I just remember their face. I remember their name. And I'm like, bro. Hell yeah, no, no, I was like, sure. all right, bet. Yeah, for sure. No. Now, Dave, as a producer, man, like a lot of times you could be stuck in one mode, one one type of beat, one type of style. Can you change according to like how a nigga is? Like, for instance, you got like you said a Detroit nigga like payroll or something, or Cash Kid, like you mentioned him. And then you want to go to a conscious ass niggas like J Cole or some shit. Can you switch it up, or you still in the process of getting that shit right? Um, I would have to collab with somebody, but mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I could do it, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, if it's a different vibe, like, I would have to, like, be with somebody that mastered that vibe, and I could add to it, for you sure, know for what I'm sure. saying? Hell yeah, hell yeah. But if one of them motherfuckers trying to come to Detroit, I'll lead the whole shit, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, for sure, because, like, sometimes, like, you can be stuck, like, man, all right, bet, but then you got somebody, like, hey, man, I want you on this, I need you on this. What can mm -hmm. you do? You like shit. I ain't never, you know, what I'm saying, I did that shit, whatever, dog. But you just dropped a tape, man, a beat tape. Yes, I did. Um, t new uh, new wave volume one. Yeah. Uh, how that shit? What when you drop a beat tape? Cause I'm I'm used to artists dropping music and shit, though. You know what I'm saying? But as a producer, you dropping a beat tape. What is it that you trying to accomplish, man? With that tape, are you trying to accomplish like, all right, I want these other artists to see this shit, or you know, how, what you trying to do with it? Um, I ain't gonna lie to you. That one was just like, I made that one with my uh, co-partner Stormy Beats. Mm -hmm. So like, that was just to get some shit out so people know who we are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause people know us on Instagram, but they don't know us on Apple Music, For and sure. yeah. Spotify, and SoundCloud, and that shit. Yeah. So we was just trying to put something out. But this one that I'm putting together right now mm -hmm. is gonna be more put together with like rappers on it and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I might rap on it too. That's what I say. Yeah. On the last podcast, you said you gonna do a verse, dog. Yeah. I might rap on it too. Yeah. Now, what, if, you, if rapping wise, man, like I said, they ain't, they ain't your forte. What 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 would be what's your style? Lay back, cause you ain't laid back, cool ass, chill nigga, like some old currency type junk. <laughs> like, how your what, what would your rap style be like, man? Just chill. Uh. I'm 19, so I didn't really live that much. No, no, All I no, can no. rap about is girls. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. For sure, man. Shit, I, I can talk about a girl yeah. day through night, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I got yeah. so many stories. Oh, shit, man. Well, give me one, dog. You already said it, dog. What's uh, up? <laughs> hey, give me a while. Let me see. What kind of story I want from you, dog? Damn. Just give me a wild story, man, about a chick, dog. That maybe surprised you. A college story. Yeah, yeah, college. You you went. You been in college two years, man. What's well, some shit that surprised you? your first first semester? What's well, some shit that surprised you about shit like damn y'all y'all doing this? Well, it made me chill out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. So I was in the calf, right? Yeah. 
And so, like, I was, like, I was just on a roll. I wasn't even really thinking about just settling down or just chilling on the girls. <laughs> so I was in the cab, this girl, we just talking. She invited me to her dorm. I'm like, fuck it. All right. <laughs> so we just chilling and shit, watching TV. Yeah. I'm watching TV. I'm really paying attention <laughs> to this shit. <laughs> Ready for real. Pay attention to the show, dog. Yeah, go ahead. You know, like, the thing that my, people my age do, like, we like to play fight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's just talking shit. I'm just like, shut up. So I'm just watching, you know, whatever's <laughs> on the TV. All I hear is, nigga, she bring out a fucking taser. Dog, a taser? No, she oh, ain't oh, me. Hell, she just bring out a taser just playing with the shit. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, <laughs> all right, now I'm kind of like, oh, shit. And then, you know, I just let it go. Yeah. We just start cooling and shit, just laying down. Yeah. You know, she grabbed my hand. Yeah, mm, yeah you there. know, yeah, put it in some places. <laughs> and then I don't like how I feel. So I look at my hand, I go to the bathroom. Oh. That's my fucking orange cut. <laughs> Hey What's that? Uh, the end of the end of freeze. Oh shit! So, I don't know that's the coolest. What the fuck that's it the, was. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't shit, know dog. what the fuck it was though. Oh, but this 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 the question though. Oh my god! Did you leave? Oh, I swear to God, or did you I smash? Left. I swear to God, I left. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I swear to God, you different young dude than me, dog. Oh. <laughs> what? No. What? Yep, that's it. Yeah. Listen, 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 yeah, listen. That, no, that's listen. crazy. Look full of day. No, that's crazy. Listen. I ain't no looking. I'm after no. he looked, you gotta leave. No. <laughs> like when you see it with yeah, your that own shit, eyes, man, that you shit gone, crazy. Bro. You would have stayed? No, listen. You so would've talked her through it? It depends. Alright, I'm gonna tell you this. It depends on where I was at in life, dog. <laughs> if I was like really like like it was it was a time I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, I wasn't getting you know what I'm saying, I wasn't getting consistent. That's so crazy. maybe I would just be like, nigga, let me go ahead and just make sure I wrap that boy up, you know what I'm saying, real good. That's crazy. Tell or or tell her to clean. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's go take a shower real quick. You know what I'm saying? Get it together. But when you got older and mature and start learning and stuff, he'd be like, oh, no, I'll be like Dave, I gotta go. See, I'm more mature than I was then. Okay, at least you honest. Yeah. <laughs> Still nasty in the motherfucker. Yeah. No, I was, dog. You did a good job, Dave, I leave it, dog. I had man. to get the fuck out. <laughs> Dude would have stayed. Hey, I wasn't expecting you. I didn't know where it was going, dog. Like, I, <laughs> I'm glad you went to go peep that, dog. Like, damn, cause it shit would be fucked up. You put your face in. Oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> you would have put your face. No, I wouldn't have. I oh my god! After did. you knew too. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right, dog. Ain't no, sa ain't no saving you. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is over. That shit is through. Now, fool, like, dog, you drop on house, dog. Get off that shit, cause. <laughs> <laughs> You was about to go in it. You talking about get no. off of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped one call, bro. What's been the response to that shit, man? And you took it back, dog. You took it back to the old days, man. You had skits on that motherfucker, dog. Hell yeah, the response on that bitch is going crazy, dog. They, we still in heavy rotation with the back to rap, but this was, I was like, man, I ain't dropping nothing in a minute, so this mm -hmm. was the uncalls, and then I wanted yeah. to do something different. I want every tape to sound different from the last one, so I was like, shit, we might as well put some skits on there, had the skits blend in with the song. I got Uncle sure. on there talking crazy as fuck with his old ass, so hell yeah, hell yeah, that yeah. shit going crazy right now. Shit, man, you, uh, like I said, the response being, you, you fuck with it, like, niggas, like, I know it's early, but niggas, niggas, like, give me some good feedback. It's different, though, like, because they wasn't expecting skits, and I think in this era, nobody is, you know, saying, oh, shit, who the fuck is putting skits on they yeah, motherfucking, you know what I'm sure. saying, and especially yeah, yeah. for the one, I didn't tell him to do nothing, I literally went there, was like, bro, talk your shit, yeah. do whatever the fuck you gonna do, you know for what I'm sure. saying, and for him to listen to the songs and curate off of his shit like that, yeah. that shit was amazing, so. Give me your top two tracks on that, bitch, mine's is, uh, Shoot If I Miss and End of the Road. I like, uh... Yeah, end of the road. I like Fiend Party though. Fiend, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fiend, Fiend Party, my yeah, 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 that's yeah. my shit. So those your two Fiend Party and what else? Uh, in, yeah, end of the road. That end was my road. yeah, that was my bitch when I heard that beat. That beat was that song got wrapped up in like two minutes. Damn near how long, however long the song was. I yeah, I freestyled through that whole bitch and it was just yeah. Like I said, when I heard that bitch, the thrill came back again. I was like, duck, we gotta love that bitch up and let's press that shit up. Yeah, yeah. Now uh, as a as a producer, Dave. Do you give a fuck if a nigga trash or not? He, he hop on your beat as long as he make that payment. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. I would, like, you know, I got composure yeah. sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, like, I'll be in the session, you know, you know, that shit dope, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the whole time, and the inner me is like, <laughs> no, nigga, no, <laughs> man. That shit weak as hell. Yeah, yeah. But hey. Yeah. So you are you, I mean ask you, are you worried about how niggas are you worried about niggas feelings dog if I keep it real with them like dog? This ain't it. Oh 
Yeah. Some niggas need that, you know, shit. Some nah, if they ass and got paid, I don't give no fucks. Yeah. But they, if you ask with no money to <laughs> Tomorrow, how you 0 for 2? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm you want me to do you a favor? I'm, no. Man, now you 0 for 3. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's fucked up. No so cap. So you're saying, <laughs> so you saying you'll sell your beats to a trash nigga as long as he come with that pay? Yeah, because really? like, Dave beats is for everybody. Because some niggas don't want their beats associated with trash ass niggas. I'm just saying. Bro, but you can't be that heady because like, yeah. the trash ass nigga could know this guy. Yeah. Or he might get love know. and shit. Yeah. Like you be like, exactly. how the fuck you get love? Like, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> hey, old dog, dog. Now, in a producer, bro, what you look for in a producer, man? Like, what you looking for as far as when you listen to beats and when you, you know, what I'm saying, what you looking for, dog? Shit, uh, I just look for like consistency and like make sure knowing what they know. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know something, just let me know because I really only ask for either old school beats or sample beats or like some shit that you know, like up tempo type shit. So. Mm. For motherfuckers to be like, hey, bro, I sent you something. And yeah. then it's a beat package, and it's fucking 12 techno beats. Yeah. What the fuck am I going to do with that? Yeah. Like, no, I, I, I'm not about to, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I, I need a motherfucker that like, nigga, I'm listening to you. You listen to me. Let's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's make some shit happen. I'm yeah, like, right. don't let me tell you some shit, and then you like, all right, bet. I'm about to work on that right now. Yeah. And then five days later, I'm like, you worked on that, nigga? Yeah. Like, what the, like, come on, bro. Like, help me to fuck help you. you Let's ever, get some shit done. Do you ever wish you had, like, an in-house nigga that you could just bounce off ideas with? And then Dave, you ever wish you had like a rapper that you like, nigga, like, hey, we gonna build this, we gonna build a shit kind of like on some mustard and um and YG shit. That's how you, that's how you do it for real. Yeah, that's it. that's literally how you do it. Once you lock in with somebody and get that solid tape, mm -hmm. that solid like, and it's not even the tape, bro. Like two, three songs, good video, good promo, good, you there, mm -hmm. yeah, good following sure. behind it. Your shit is psh, already there, and then especially with your audience, the producer audience, y'all meshing shit together. Then they got they people in. Like I said, bro, that shit would be crazy. All yeah. it takes is for you to just lock in with somebody. No, for sure. What about you, Dave? You ever look for that artist that you could just be like, all right, nigga, me and you, gonna, we going to rock this shit up? Bro, I had it with my friend, but the nigga just so damn lazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro yeah. Like, he hard as fuck. He just lazy. Yeah. But it's not like a bad thing. You just don't want to do it. It's not your time, but it's my time. So I'm going to find <laughs> somebody else yeah, for the time. Yeah, but like, nigga, check that nigga. Like, uh, get, get your shit together. You, you straight, nigga. Like, I be trying to. Yeah. It just seemed like he just don't want to rap right now. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay. But I'm working with three young people right now. Uh, I'm working with this dude named Turk's Way. Yeah. Fire. Okay. Working with this dude named One Up T. He fire. Yeah. Working with this dude named Armani Bands. He yeah. fire too. He's 17. For sure. Yeah, Going yeah. crazy. Hell yeah. See, man, I can, I can tell, like, niggas, said, niggas your age probably ain't like, they like that shit, but they don't love it. Like, I can right. tell you love this shit, bro. That's why I asked you a question about the whole hooping shit. Like, I, got to, I can tell hooping you kind of like it, but you love hooping. You know what I'm saying? And that's what niggas, like, at your age, niggas probably tr still trying to find themselves what they want to do, what they're passionate about. You already in Foncho shit. So, of course, the nigga 19 who rapping probably ain't going to be on the same type of shit you on or the same type of time. Yeah, it's like hooping just now. It's just like so showboaty. Like, it's not yeah. about buckets no more. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. about what type of shoes you wear. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. yeah. I then, know like, bro, I was watching a video, bro. Somebody got dunked on, mm -hmm. bro. They literally, all the kids just like literally stormed on the court and did like this to them. Like, <laughs> bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, dog. bro, like yeah. I used to dunk on niggas all the time, yeah. but the game ain't never stopped. Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, yeah. Nigga. Like I said, I see that nigga, that nigga, they jump hooking niggas, dog. Niggas had the goggles on and shit. I, you know, I remember that nigga ass, dog. They be killing, like, yeah, that young nigga gonna be something. They know he's gonna be a motherfucking top producer in motherfucking Michigan, dog. Now, making beats, rapping. What's some shit that you look for? Be like that's gonna determine if that nigga nice though. Like what you looking for? Like damn, he 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 he, he straight. Like to me, a beat, a beat can make a, a make a trash nigga sweet. Like you know what I'm saying? But, and then some niggas, some niggas could be so cold they make the beat sweet. Like you know what I'm saying? What do y'all look at that's gonna determine like if that that beat or that nigga is hard? Shit. Uh... Tell me a little bit more, shit. Sure. Shit. <laughs> shit. I'm like shit. I'm like no, the beat. I'm like shit. If the beat just sound, if the beat sound good, yeah, it's straight. I mean, but no, like I had that theory too. Like it be that mixing and the mastering too that save a lot of niggas too. Cause some mm. niggas that have a good ass song, but they have a that fucked mix, up mix yeah. and that and that and it's like damn yeah, dog. Yeah. Or the beat don't go with the tempo, or it's like it, that should be fucked up. Bro. <laughs> that should be. You gotta lock in, bro. That's no. why you gotta have that consistent motherfucker. Because when it don't be consistent, it's like you don't know how to. They they don't know your style. You don't know the producer style. So For it's sure. like yeah. you really tossing up a coin type shit. No, fast. They what you when you hear something like what? Oh shit! What you looking for in an artist or a producer or shit? Both. 
that like nigga you know what dog that that dude got it or she got it shit as far as the shit that's going viral yeah i just need a nigga that can ride the beat yeah. right at any point in the song because TikTok is a motherfucker. TikTok yeah. killed music, bro. Yeah. Like niggas. You can get you can get viral off of thirteen seconds of your song, the rest of it be fucking horrible though. Yeah, I know somebody. <laughs> I just, did he know? He know. He, he know. We think about saying, bro. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> if you can that's just crazy rise and be crazy for, for for ten seconds, we got a hit. For so, a nice little shuffle. So if you can like do that, nigga, there. we could work. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how dog, good you It was is a that song rapper. that I heard that went like that, and when I heard the rest of the song, I'm like dog. Exactly. <laughs> this shit. Yeah, but you know it's all good. But, yeah. dog. Was, now let me tell me this, because I could tell you what's a beat, bro. That when you heard it, nigga, it just changed your life, nigga. Like, like, damn, this shit hard. I remember, and nigga, I go back to May Fresh. Even though I look at it now, the beat wasn't that sweet. But at the time, nigga, I was amazed, nigga. It was a uh, May Fresh did a beat for um, Lil Wayne. It was called Shine. Like, on my 22s, uh, uh, check my baby. My, what's that? Yeah, it was Shine. It was uh, Wayne. Um, damn, what's that Crip nigga? I mean, the blood nigga from L.A., dog. Matt 10. All niggas on that bitch, dog. And that, for me, that nigga, that beat nigga's like, oh shit, this shit the hardest thing ever, dog. Like, damn, I got two of them bitches. Dude. Kanye through the wire, and then uh, oh, the yeah. what we do is yeah. wrong. Like that oh, shit. Oh shit, yeah, that's a, that's yeah. a, that's, a, that's that. Yeah, what we do, nigga, and that's the one time, nigga, that I can say Jay Z didn't have the best verse, nigga. I, oh, what's name Freeway and Benny had better verse than Hov on that. Yeah, they was going, yeah, they was going crazy on that beat. Hell yeah, what about you, Dave? What's a beat that just changed your life? Like, dog, this shit hard. Uh, nothing really, man. Nigga, <laughs> moms, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, real, like, real. But I'm like, I just really listen to YouTube producers because, like, I don't know, since like 2016, rap has just been going downhill. So yeah. I'd rather listen to the producer because, like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Nowadays, we've been making this shit hard unless the nigga just out cold, like the yeah. rapper out cold. Yeah. But, like, we just been making this shit hard. So I just been listening to producers. And the one producer that is really hard to me is this nigga named Kevin Katana. Y'all got to look that nigga up. Yeah. Nigga's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, with the, with the, with the whole, with the whole, um, damn, what the fuck? Nigga, I just had a brain, a, a major brain for it, though. Oh, with the B shit, you be a producer. I know my answer. But what's the shit you hate the most about this shit? I know what you're going to say, too. Uh, beat block. And then an the artist, like, just, like, trying to get over on you. Yeah, yeah. Is niggas willing to pay that money? Like, no matter how much you charge, like, that's what I thought no. you was going to say, dog. Like, no. What's your, what, what, what's your shit, man? Going, how you go through that shit with artists, man, who ain't willing to pay? What your what you, what you want for your uh, for your shit, man? Well, we ain't got no more to talk about, dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Either you want the beat or not. You feel me? Yeah. How many niggas then hit you up and they're like, dog, once you give them the beat price, I'm going to hit you back. Bro, my guy. <laughs> I got a whole DM full. That's why I don't even respond on my beat page. Because most of the people with money is on my main page. Yeah, 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 yeah. So do you do you feel like you uh you you, you charge a reasonable prices for your shit? Yeah. Because yeah. music is expensive and you're and it's like really a scam for what you getting back from it. Yeah. If it blow up too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. What about, what, 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 what you do? I mean niggas ain't hit you like we we kind of talk about off mic dog, but like let's work, cause oh my fucking god, <laughs> dude you got like <laughs> no, all right on a po- all right on a positive note, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that DM shit is like motherfucking one for forty thousand, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That's that that percentage is horrible as fuck. But performing at shows, you know, doing pop ups, you know what I'm saying, doing shit like that, me and networking at little events and shit like that, I have did more features and more collabs like that more yeah. than a nigga DM and like, hey bro, I'm gonna work with you and tap in type shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, <laughs> That shit be weird. Motherfuckers just want conversation, bro. Hey, Dave, I was that nigga, dog. I was trying to rap, dog. I asking them for your price. I'd be like, all right, come on. I'm going to get back with you, dog. Get paid this Friday. Oh, <laughs> this nigga done came back I three times. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about, hey, it's still, it's still at one price? Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Hey, now, me and my cousin were clowning this uh this one artist, man. Um, She had, oh, he had, well, he or she, I ain't going to give it. <laughs> had, gave, had gave a feature price. Mm-hmm. And my thing is, both of y'all can answer this, dog. Do y'all feel like an artist that's still building should have such a high feature prices? I see some people like four, five, six hundred dollars. And in my eyes, I'm wondering what can you do to make this song any different than if I do it by myself? Do you feel like coming up, y'all should kind of like be showing each other love, or how y'all feel about like the pricing of, of up and coming artists who really ain't known in the city at all? I can only see. I, I fuck with. 
I fuck with your train of thought on that, but mm. the the way that I do my shit, I'm like, look, if I want to do a song with you, and me and you got some mutual shit going on, bet we can lock in and break that shit down. You know how we do it, but if I don't really, if I ain't enticed to do this shit, yeah. pay for the session, or you can just give me like a hundred or hundred fifty, bro, and then mm. we I do it like that. But that shit crazy. Like it's people that I'm at the same shows with you. We on the same open mics. We on the same Hennies and Hamburgers, Backwoods and Bonfire type shit. Yeah. And you talking about you want 900 or 1,000 for a verse. And I'm like, bro, we at the same, like, yeah. nigga, like, okay, you got six niggas with a blue check that's following you. Congratulations. Yeah. What type yeah. of cookie you want from the store? <laughs> but I'm like, nigga, that shit is not like, all right, bro, I get it. Them niggas ain't shouting you out every day. Yeah, so, like, a lot of them be like, yeah, man, one week only, 500, like. Just for one week, nigga, catch me. Like, I'll it's be the last like, week of the month, rent dude. Yeah. They, they, try, they, try to put, they try to push that shit through, nigga. I ain't mad at you, but not. Yeah. Hell no, I was born that night, not last night. No. That shit ain't hell no, bro. That shit ain't, that shit ain't working, bro. Then you're going to take all day to get that bitch back to me. Yeah. How the fuck I'm paying for a verse? And you're like, all right, bro, let me get like two, three weeks, nigga. And then, well, I think one thing I did I did notice as far as with established rappers in the city, dog, the city wide, no, is when they do be charging niggas for these verses, bro, and this from the niggas that's known. They giving them niggas like some old D shit, dog. Like some some bullshit, bro. Like this is a throwaway eight bars. verse. Eight bars. If you gonna pay this nigga seven, eight hundred dollars because he such and such a nigga, he gave you no fucking most nigga. My, my uh, I got somebody who I know personally who ain't did that shit. Every time he get a feature, he be like, yeah, I got this feature, that feature. I had feature like dog. That shit, I wouldn't have wasted that money, dog. Like eight bars. I could got young Craig from down the street, nigga, put in more work than this nigga. Gonna dog. be unmixed, nigga. That shit gonna be fucked up. Now what about you, Dave? Of course we gotta pay for the beats, but how you feel about like artists like just. Charging like ridiculous prices and they ain't even like don't nobody know who they is and shit. It's no really right answer to that. You gotta look at it from inside out. Like of course you want somebody to charge for their art and their experience. Mm -hmm. But damn nigga, if you don't got no hit, yeah, or like you don't got no good songs, you're not a skilled artist, bro. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be charging nothing. Yeah, <laughs> y'all be working, man. Like I, I feel like I feel it's be, it depends on the situation, like. If you ask for studio time or whatever like that, all right, pay for studio time, this, that, and third. But if we both want to come up, we both on the same playing field, let's just work together. Build this shit up. You know what I'm saying? So that's shit. That's, that's how I feel about that shit. I just be feeling like some niggas just charge too much of a of a crazy-ass fee for nothing. Like, like 4000 nigga. No and, nigga and the niggas who be, like, the well-established artists who you get these verses from, they won't even post, nigga won't share nothing, dog. So it's like, nigga, what have you done for me to pay you this money? Like, what are you doing? Like, can I get some help? Because, damn. Cause they get all them likes and them uh, comments on the Instagram. That's what they. But then you be like, Dave, like nigga, you you post like post picture with Fuse or I post picture I got a song with Payroll, like nigga, not everybody on your dick, nigga, like. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you been doing music for twenty years, nigga. But like. that don't mean that the people that fuck with me, you know what I'm saying, gonna fuck with you. And that's exactly. where people get the little fake beef or the entitlement shit, cause they think that that's how they thought the relationship was gonna work. Like, no, yeah. nigga, I worked for that shit. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You ain't even worked to that shit, so it be. What's shit. the best and worst advice y'all ain't got as far as this music shit, bro? Fuck. You get that every day. <laughs> like niggas tell you it be so many like okay, the worst okay, bet the worst advice I got was from niggas that don't do music that give me opinion on music. Yeah, yeah, you don't know shit about it. Duh. I'm like, you don't even do it, but they be like, bro, if I was doing music, bro, I would do it like <laughs> Yeah, I do it like this. So yeah, that's the worst advice I get is from niggas that don't even do it is giving me advice. The yeah. the, the best advice I got Shit, just keep going. Yeah, just, you know, just keep going. You know what I'm saying? You you chose the shit. You know what I'm saying? And every time you feel like you' about to quit or some shit about to, that's another breakthrough moment. You know what I'm saying? So just sure. keep pushing through and shit. What about you, Dave? Man, what's some what's some uh, good advice, bad advice you ain't got, man? Uh, bad advice. I ain't gonna lie. I just tune out. I just got this thing where I just tune out when I feel like it's about to be some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'll be like, okay, okay, yeah. I hear you for sure. But good advice. Read everything. Oh no, that's some good advice right there. Yeah, read the room. Yeah. Read your contracts. Yeah. Read any anything, you know what I'm saying? Because the music game is very shysty. Yeah, hell yeah. From the rappers to even the producers, the yeah. engineers, especially the motherfuckers in the offices. Hell yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. What what's some what's some shit though, like with me with this podcast, man, for example, like what's some shit that separate yourself? I feel like me and uh, producer Q and talked about this shit. I feel like the one thing that separated me as far as this podcast shit is I actually try to do a research. A lot of niggas just bring you on the show and don't know a goddamn thing about you, bro. Like I feel like if I'm gonna have if I'm gonna ask you to be on this bitch, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my due diligence and, and, and see what the fuck you about and see what you got going on. So what's some shit that like, y'all try to do to separate yourself? There's a million rappers, there's a million producers. Like 
What's some shit besides being dope ass niggas and shit, dog? We know Dave's the dopest nigga in the world and shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's some shit that y'all try to do to separate y'all self, bro? Uh, shit. Just staying consistent, staying on the, staying different, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Staying with new ideas, trying mm-hmm. to do something that I haven't seen before. You always got to think outside the box to put somebody in one, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Hell so, yeah. Hell so yeah. It's always moving and improving. And don't be afraid to learn new tricks and take advice. But, dog, uh, real quick, you know what I like about your shit, dog? It's like when you rap, even, like you said, when you had freestyle the day, even when you mess up, you know how I like to. Yeah. Be on that shit quick. Yeah, shout out to Hooked on Phonics. <laughs> nigga, uh, niggas, yeah. But shout out to, like, like I said, shout out to young black mothers. You know what I'm saying? She thought a nigga was slow. A nigga just like, couldn't read, dog. Nigga need reading glasses. So once yeah. I got that, and my eyes was in the weak ass development stage. So yeah. now we straight now. So, yeah, how good for reading was you? Like like, with, like me, I remember like nigga reading, nigga. I used to be reading ahead, make sure when they call my name, nigga, I don't be all. Uh... Hell no, I think I fucked up, bro. I was, I think I stuttered for like two, three years. So I had to get that shit together. Once we got that shit together, it was straight, though. I could comprehend like a motherfucker, but yeah. yeah yeah, bro, don't popcorn me in class and no shit like that. Hey, man. funny shit, nigga, when you got the spelling bee, nigga, you get that word, nigga, and you be like... Y'all niggas have spelling bees? That's what's up. I'm old, nigga. Damn. <laughs> man, that's what's up. Oh, shit. Y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all niggas have spelling bees? Like think, class spelling bees? I don't think we did it. I probably did attend them bitches. Did y'all niggas have spelling tests on Friday? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say. Yeah. That's what you know when they can't spell. We be like, what's the origin? Uh, say it in a sentence. Oh, like, nigga, oh, this nigga about to lose, cuz. Nigga, give it up, cuz. You don't know how to spell it, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, maybe a sweat and you get to an easy word. You be like, oh shit, cuz. Spell prime. Yeah, he uh, Can you say the sentence? Um, how, how do you use it? What's the origin of the word? Like, nigga, you ask all type of shit, cuz. What about you, Dave, man? What what separate, like I said, what separates you from other producers, man? Um, My passion for it. Yeah. Plus, like, I started off on the phone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, like, gifted. Yeah. My quality of work. And plus, I'm surrounded by the best producers in the state. Like, everybody I hang with, like, the best producers in the yeah, state. Like, for sure. got placements on placements. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Now, though, as far as them placements, though, being a producer, man, like, how do that work, like, as far as getting paid, man? School of dumb nigga, man. Like, like it depends on what, you, like, what y'all negotiated, like, how the song go. Like, what is it with that? If they try to pay you up front, like, if it's a big artist and they try to pay you up front, don't do that shit. Yeah. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Unless you, unless you do both. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. But i rather do the BMI splits. Yeah. Like, the little distro kid splits, because, like, you get money off that for, like, forever, damn. Like, when you when you got that first little money, you was like, damn, I got money off some, a beat? Like, nigga, how, how, like, how high was that? Like, nigga, get paid for something that you passionate about. Like, nigga, this ain't no nine to five, some shit I got a slave for somebody else. This some shit that I love, and it's coming from me. Like, how that shit make you feel getting that, 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 that first little, you know what I'm saying, rap money and shit? Like, no matter how big or little it was. It felt good. I got my mom something. I think yeah. I got her like some clothes and stuff. Oh, you know, she like been, hang with you, Dave. <laughs> 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 hey, man, hey, I'm gonna, hey, when that nigga make up, man, y'all coach that nigga cook. He with the brother. I never coached that nigga a day in my life. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> hey, well, no. Now I want to ask both of y'all this, dog, because I was a cheap nigga back in the day when I wanted to rap, dog. I was buying YouTube beats. I was a YouTube nigga, dog. I was that that Rick Ross like beat type nigga, dog. Oh, like shit. Like being a producer and being a rapper, like I want to know how did that work out. I mean, never work. You know, I'm doing podcasts. They can talk to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it might have, you might have, shit, the song could have been fire as fuck. Man, I felt it was, man, but I be that bitch nigga stealing. Like, nigga, I ain't never paid for, the only time I paid for a beat was this shit called GiveMeBeats.com. <laughs> they laughing. That bitch was like $10, nigga. I'm mad you found, how the fuck did you find a GiveMeBeats.com? But then they changed it to deep, GiveMeBeats.net, and then I think they got sued or something, they changed it. Was that with LimeWire too? No, no, oh, no. Okay. It was like Gibby Beat dot OU or some shit. They started switching that bitch up, dog. So then you had like a whole way at West Coast beats with hooks. I bought this beat with a little Wayne hook on that bitch, dog. I thought I was about to go places, man. Man, I did. I didn't go nowhere, man. Yeah, hello, that was a prime hello, time. podcast shot, dog. dog but yeah, so what, how, how y'all feel about YouTube beats? You being a producer and you being a rapper, like how y'all feel about that shit, dog? You think it's ever okay? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, especially when the city get behind it, like everybody do like the challenges and shit. Like yeah. it's cool like that, but you not about to you gotta know how to that's a great way for you to like, you know what I'm saying, get into the mix and bunch <laughs> up and shit, but some people don't know how to capitalize off of that too. So yeah. but as far as stealing beats, if you gonna steal a beat, my nigga, make like I said, it's on the mix and the master too. Like, don't have to purchase your track today in the middle of your <laughs> and you rapping about selling drugs and you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you gotta make it make sense. Help us help you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then you got that shit loud as fuck too. That shit louder than your vocals. That shit ain't even No, fast. I yeah, fast dog. Good shit. You gonna steal a beat, steal it right. How you gonna be a halfway you gonna be a halfway crook all 
Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Oh, no, now, Dave, what you have is my ever stole. Cause I know you got some beats on YouTube. Somebody stole your shit and they give you the credit. Mm -hmm. How you go about that shit? Like, I just texted him. Yeah. <laughs> like, you stole my shit, bro. <laughs> like, I ain't, he ain't really steal it, but he just didn't know who, like, I was, you know what I'm saying? So I just texted him. Like, yeah. this is like my first big placement, too. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I just texted him. He was like, okay, let's, let's just, you know, like, do it like this. Yeah. So I was like, okay, but a nigga actually really did steal my beat. I got that shit deleted in like a day. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. So you are you ever uh, okay with niggas like getting YouTube beats if it's like, I guess not, not stealing, but just like a free YouTube beat? Or are you like, no, nah, you should always get your original beat because you never know how big the song would be or, or go? Um, mm -hmm. Just do whatever fits you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you like the beat, just buy it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially if it's one of mine. You feel me? Oh, <laughs> for sure. Hell yeah. Buy my nigga New Wave Day beat, dog. Mm -hmm. Now, where 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 the uh, transition come from? From Payday Day to New Wave Day? Oh, shit. Like, I don't know. I just graduated in music. Like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It was like a really a stepping stone type thing. You know what I'm saying? Payday Day was a wild boy. Yeah, 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 that's Payday was wild. Yeah, Payday with a hat said, fuck that hand, I'm going ahead and do it. Yeah. No. <laughs> New Wave Day. New Wave Day was. Wait, hold on. What you say? <laughs> I'm like, no, he's okay. Hold on, give him a second. Wait, 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 oh my God. Wait, what? What's the old girl with the, with the oh, arms? Oh, hell no. no, no, no Same no, thing no, with no. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but you said you would have stayed, dog. That shit no, crazy. No, no, I said it depends on the situation. Say you said you would have talked her through it, dog. Depends on my mindset, dog. Hey, baby, I'm gonna take a bath real quick, dog. I'll be romantic. No, but it's been a long week. <laughs> yeah, be this romantic, nigga, dog. This nigga trip, but nah, for real. So you said, yeah, so uh, New Wave Day was just a graduation. Just you coming out your, you know, you getting to your shit, man. You know what I'm saying? More mature, yeah. more knowing what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. I fuck with you because I'm like, a lot of niggas, man, your age, like I said, man, I could only applaud that. You might not know how important that shit is, but for you to come here and be able to talk and express yourself and this, that, third, a lot of young niggas don't know how to do that shit. Don't, a lot of niggas don't know how to conduct their interview or, you know what I'm saying, have shit to say, so. Yeah. Nigga, you, you been on your way, dog. Now I'm going to go ahead and play this shit back like that yeah, nigga's on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> now, with you, fool lady, dog, how you get that name, dog? What was some trash names you had before that, dog? Shit. Well, you was little, young, nigga, like... <laughs> no, uh, shit, I was Reezy before that, Young Reezy before, uh. Yeah, I know it was Young, nigga. Yeah, yeah, oh, and, then, uh, and then I switched, what the fuck, I want to say like 2014, 15, and it was just, uh, Foolish. But yeah. then my dumb ass was listening to the radio one day, and I'm like, damn, that's Coco and <laughs> Foolish. So, shit, I was in Spanish class one day, I'm like, all right, let's just put the AY on it. So, I'm like, shit, big fool late. And then the hoes was like, shit, he always fooling and shit. Yeah, so, yeah, shit, yeah. and then shit, I'm big, so shit, yeah. big fool late, bitch, and then, so shit. <laughs> And then, and then, shit, when I be hitting the nigga baby mama and shit, I'm like, shit, my name B.I.G., yo bitch gonna do the last part. So, no, she, full, so she full laying. So, <laughs> nigga, so yeah, it's like, you know. Hey, do our chicks always got some type of fools that it's something, bro? Like, for shit, real, like. It gets the people going. Yeah, yeah. No, for two minutes, though. It don't really be. I'm real, because sometimes, like, dude, y'all ever, like, nigga, like, all right, this music shit gonna get some, it's gonna get, it's gonna get some hoes. Like, y'all ever think like that? Like, it gets the hoes I didn't <laughs> think I was gonna get. Like, I was looking at this one, but then them three came over, so I was like, damn, that's what's up. I mean, I still want you too, but shit, yeah. I'll take them other three, like, shit, but. Man. That music. Yeah. But they like the shit too, though, so it be like, it be a give and take. Yeah, yeah. I like doing it. They like listening. So. For sure, man. For sure, man. Shout out to the niggas who get hoes on music. Uh, that to work. I think I asked you you're making a right. band, bro, in the last episode. If not, then shit, you could do a city shit. I want your making a band album of you and four niggas from the city, and I want your making a band you and four niggas, four producers. It, uh, uh, it could be um, citywide or like nigga well known. Damn. But I want your because you. I think you did your shit, so I want your Detroit. Making a band, dog. You and four Detroit artists that you wouldn't mind working with, dog. Damn, let me do, uh, let me do PZ. Alright. Let me do, uh, I like payroll too, dog. Yeah, payroll. And then you gotta give me, uh, Ray. And then I'd be the fourth nigga, wouldn't I? Or, nope. Or, or nope. Need one more. You are, you need one more. You, PZ, Babyface, uh, payroll, and last but not least. Damn. I just, damn, who the fuck was I, uh, I like uh, Keisha too. Like he said, Keisha be hard too. Yeah, all yeah. them styles mixed together. Be I hard. gotta go ahead and get hip, dog. What's his name again? I think Cash, Cash Gang Key. Key. Cash Gang Key, or it's like FWC Big Key or some shit. What's like I gotta get? Well, now, it's your hard though. Now, Dave, you and four other producers, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all working on a big, some big shit, dog. Who you working with, man? All right, so 
I, I work as a team, so I got to make everybody bring something to the team. For Hits sure. wise. Wait, this is like Michigan or just it could be Detroit? Whatever you want. It could be Michigan. Right. It, could be, it could be nigga, nigga well known, nigga, like whoever, whoever you, you want to work with. So I'm on a team automatically. Yep. So, you so I need Pull You a Fool for this one and Energy mm. Beats okay. mm. to bring in hits and flavor. All right. And for skill, I'll bring in my nigga by Kyle. Shout out Kyle, bro. That All nigga right. hard, bro. You need one more. Uh. I have my nigga Stormy. I have my nigga Stormy. And that's the one you work with, right? Yep. That's somebody you you been knowing for a minute, or somebody you like you got cool with. On the I knew him for three years and met him last year for the first time ever. We had so many hits together. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Is it always easier like than this? Shit, you by yourself, y'all kind of like bouncing ideas off each other and shit like that. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's what's up, dog. Now, uh, with this shit, dog, what's some shit that you see yourself like in five years? How you how y'all see yourself, dog? Like, and you, you still y'all still young, but do y'all ever give yourself like an age cap? That like, all right, this shit ain't doing this, then I'm done. Or you just don't even think like that. No, it's more so shit. The goal and the mindset behind like what you was gonna do with it. I mean, some people, I think it's just niggas just don't really got the love for it. Like mm-hmm. if you if, if if you really got the love and the drive for the shit, you gonna stick through the shit and make it happen. If if you was you know what I'm saying fifty fifty on the fence with it and not knowing what you was gonna do, saying you was gonna. Do it and not do it Be inconsistent And that be niggas problem too You know what I'm saying They don't be consistent enough So they just yeah. Fall out for it But yeah. The age for it is no, nah, Cause music is always timeless So yeah. it's like <laughs> Shit yeah, no, you, sure. shit, you can fuck around Be 40 in a yeah. hit that you made When you was 19 Like <laughs> pop And that shit be crazy as fuck nah. like, And that's why I be Trying to tell niggas Like bro The music shit has No perfect way Like you could be a uh, 20,000 view nigga as a rap nigga and then you switch to R&B and you be a million no. million view nigga yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying in two days no, so for sure, for sure. It's, it's no perfect way in this shit you just gotta what, what you see your music and shit like in five years though what you see what you see going on with, with Big Fool Lane and this motherfucker we still it was, man I'm talking about still independent if not got you know people under me that I you know that I assigned or co-signed and shit but mm-hmm. and at that point man just still doing the still doing it for the love still making the money off of how I do you know what I'm saying just just chilling, bro. What about you, uh, Daisy? Could be on on a on a producing wise. Shit, like you said, you could be old ass nigga and produce nigga. It really ain't no age cap, though. You that's know what, what I that's what I really liked about it and seen at a very young age for some reason. Where yeah. like basketball, bro, you gotta stop at one point, bro. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I could be old as fuck in my hospital bed cooking yeah. shit up, bro. For sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. Jump so, the wrong way, that shit. Over, you land the wrong way, that shit. Man, Man. so you said you nineteen. I'm, I'm I ain't gonna say five years, but you see yourself in. Yeah, I'm fucking five years, nigga. Shit, twenty four. Where you see yourself, New Way Dave at twenty four, dog? Where you at? Where you living, dog? Like all that shit. Manifest um, that shit. I see myself. I don't think I could live in Florida every day. Actually, I could. <laughs> my nigga Sean down the street. My mom <laughs> next door. So. All my friends across the street. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, Just yeah. big ass mansions. For sure. You know. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I want to ask you. I want to ask you, y'all, just one last question. Kind of music. You, who, who, who will be your dream collab as an artist, and who will be your dream collab as a producer? Damn. I still like Zaytoven. Zaytoven. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I like that piano shit. That piano saxophone. Like that shit just sound pure as hell. I love how that shit just yeah. be mixed and faded in. What about you, Dave? Like, who, who, who would be a dream artist you want to work with, dog? I think there's only one answer to this shit. With a Drake. Drake. I knew he was going to say that shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro, dog. You get a Drake anything, <laughs> bro? You, you go, you, you go, bro. You take it off, dog. Rock and shit, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Goddamn, Drake. My uh, my Drake interview, dog, I'm going to ask myself this shit. It'd be uh, <laughs> My joke would be Mike Tyson. Yeah, that he's, would be funny. Dog, mm. he's dope as hell. Like, as crazy as he is, he's... Smart as fuck, like, you know what I'm saying, niggas? Yeah, Mike Tyson be my motherfucking shit, dog. Mike Tyson, nigga. And before the smack, it was Will Smith. That was my, like, my nigga, dog. Like, I used to, I've been a Will Smith fan, nigga, forever in the motherfucking day, dog. He done some whole shit he did, dog. Nah, Man, bro. Nigga, nigga smack y'all, nigga, with y'all. Y'all throw your whole career away, beat his ass, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 nigga, Dave that 6 7 a, like, he, That took a lot of strength. No, for sure. For sure, not to go crazy, dog. That nigga walked too. up on that bitch and just smacked you. I read nigga stole me and smacked me, dog. Like, I read nigga punched yeah, me, dog. That was an open hand, bitch, too. <laughs> that was that open hand. That wasn't even no... That was the... 
Nigga did not tell you. Hell yeah. That was that. And that, that, that motherfucker grandma motherfucker smack when them bitches go hand go back, nigga. Like Yeah, then he went back to his seat casual as hell. Like, yeah, they shit, smooth, like, they look bad, nigga. Like Yeah, that nigga did that shit four lifetimes ago. <laughs> he said, Oh, time to suit up one more time. Duh. That yeah. nigga was yeah, you need some restraint though. I don't know what type of console that nigga got. That nigga what, got some When last time y'all got to a scrap? <sighs> God, what the fuck? I think like two years ago. What, 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 what was it what was it before though? What happened? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Do I really want to? All right, bet. Uh, <laughs> all right, bet. I was in Romulus, bro. Shit, I was uh, at this time. I was at uh, see my bitch had her crib and shit. But I guess mm-hmm. her best friend came over and her nigga was over there and they was tripping and shit. So mm-hmm. by the time I got there, I don't even know what the fuck happened. By the time I got there, everybody outside arguing and shit. Next thing I know, the girls motherfucking uh, scrapping and shit. Mm-hmm. Next thing I know, the nigga right there, he just standing there. So shit, I got bored. I hit the nigga and shit. <laughs> the nigga, the nigga. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm like shit. I'm like shit, nigga. I ain't just drop. Bro, I just drove 20, 25 minutes, bro. So, shit. I mean, gas was probably like 217 at the time. So, shit. I, somebody had to get compensated, bro. So, shit. I started, you know what I'm saying? But they always say he was from the Army or the Navy and shit. This nigga running down the street all in the complex. I'm like, all right, bro. Fuck it. And then by the time I turned around, shit. My girl was beating the other, the other bitch ass. And then, <laughs> shit. The police came. And then we didn't get in trouble because it was her shit. We just said they were just passing. This nigga said your boy just fired on that nigga. Bro. I, was, bro, we was, I was just standing there like, damn, bro. My bitch beating the shit out this bitch. He was just standing there looking casual as fuck. I'm like, <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, it's just, yeah, shit, hit your bitch ass. Shit, fuck it. It's shit. It's all right, though. <laughs> I know that nigga nostrils was fucked up. That nigga know he was holding this shit for like, bro. Oh, yeah, it's all right, bro. It's all right, man. He be all right. What about you, Dave, man? What's the last crap you got to, dog? Man, it was actually at Bradford, bro. Oh, bro, yeah. Okay, talk about that, man. So, I was just having a bad morning, bro. <laughs> My dad was pissing me off. <laughs> I was just in a horrible mood, bro. Yeah. So, like, in, in Bradford, you know, you got to have thick skin because we just cook you yeah, all yeah, day. Like, we, we, we get on your ass yeah. at Bradford. But I was just not in the mood for it. Yeah. So, I just get the peel in this nigga, like, just going <laughs> all in. Your shoes, your pants, your yeah. shirt, how you walked in this morning. <laughs> going crazy. Then, so, he just not feeling it. So, he talking about my mama. Yeah. So, I'm like... Bro, don't do that shit. So he do it again. Yeah. And so like I get up. Mind you, I ain't I wasn't really the fighting type of nigga. Yeah. But I was just, I don't know. Yeah, so I was just on some grimy shit. Yeah. So he get up too. He tried to push me. I didn't move. I, I just <laughs> did a little arm thing. The nigga said, Whoa. <laughs> then, bro, he come back with his this swallowed, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> my mom finna be mad as hell that I got into a fight. But Duh. fuck it. You were thinking about the fight, you talking about your mom now. first, nigga. Exactly. So <laughs> I'm like, well, 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 you know, all that shit going on, I won. Yeah. But like I fucked him up bad, bro. Duh. And I just vowed to that day I'm never fighting again unless I have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn, dog. Now we uh, real quick though, but that y'all had a squad, bro. You it was cause it was tall day, little Dave and shit, dog. Yeah, just everybody Dad, got bro. hoop and, and yeah. the cool niggas. Yeah, 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 dog. So when was the last time you had a script? Shit, nigga, Lionel Sanders, dog, seventh grade, dog. That was a shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. I'm, all I right. know your name, dog. That's the last time, bro. You won? Yeah, because I had, like, that nigga was tall, so I had to kind of, like, bring him down. Okay. Like, nigga, yeah. first he wanted to fight in the bathroom. I'm like, bro, it's too many weapons. Like, you can get your head busted on the motherfucking sink, the stall, nigga, anything. So yeah. I'm like, nigga, I refuse to fight in the bathroom, dog. So I'm like, nigga, we got to take this shit out of here. So I went to the classroom, dog. Mr. Anderson, dog. He was cockeyed, dog. I'm at like, Bustle. That nigga, that, that bitch, dog. I got that bitch off real good. Nigga got a couple little. Bah, 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 bah. Hit that nigga about eight times. Nigga won that bitch. Like, hell yeah, nigga. They like, dog. Lionel Sanders want to do part two. I'm like, nigga, hell no. Nigga, fuck Lionel, dog. Nigga, we never got to it. Well, Lionel, dog, if you still here, if you still around, dog. That nigga was talking about my grandma and shit, dog. I'm like, nigga, say my grandma again, cuz. That's, that's, <laughs> that's when we started scrapping, dog. But as, like, when I got older, I remember, um, I went to Gross Point North, dog, for ninth grade. I just met this white boy because he was like, only thing you niggas want to do is play basketball. Because mm. like, we were playing soccer. I didn't want to play soccer, dog. So I'm telling my, my, my white homeboy, Josh, like, man, I don't even fuck playing no soccer. So he he was like, he tried to tell Josh on the low, like, only thing you niggas want to do is play basketball. Smack, Smack that nigga. That was it. So, yeah, that's the last, last physical fight when a nigga was trying to hit me and shit. It was like, Lionel Sanders, dog, seventh grade. Like nigga, yeah, I got I remember I got jumped, nigga, nigga pulled a hoodie on my head, nigga, like I still don't know who did that shit to this day. Damn. Nigga just hit me, nigga. I'm in that bitch like, damn, cuz he was over this bitch. Like, so damn, at least let me see shit. Well, damn, I see what them niggas run after where like, well, I guess some niggas didn't like me, dog. Now uh we ending this shit off, dog. 
I want to do a versus, man. I'll give y'all a category. Y'all tell me which one going to win. All right. R&B versus rap. Rap. Wait, no. Uh, R&B yeah. today because okay. rap is dying. These niggas. <laughs> for sure. R&B. R&B. All right. Production. Kanye West versus For Real. Kanye. Kanye. Yeah, I like Kanye shit. All right, rapping. Cole versus Kendrick. Kendrick. I like Cole. All right. Payroll versus Peasy. Shit. Fuck. Um, let me do a... Uh... Damn. All right, now I'm going to give it to Peasy, bro. Yeah. yeah. All right, Summertime Gear versus Fog Gear. Fog Gear. I mean, my Nike tip. Um, yeah, I like hoodies. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Give me a uh, creamy macaroni versus that macaroni you got to go ahead and carve into. Damn. You talking about white damn. people versus <laughs> black people? <laughs> they're like, they're like, they're like, they're like, like, you had to carve into the back, back. No, that's the best one when you carve it. It's like cornbread, nigga. What the you fuck? You talking about like the one that you got to bake? Big, yeah, be layers. Yeah, I you. like that shit. Oh, okay. Oh, I, like I thought that. you meant like yeah. <laughs> All right, what the fuck? Hell, you got the white mac and cheese in this bitch. Yeah. No, oh shit, no, I like that cream. Well, no, it gotta be like, it gotta be in like, in the, yeah, it gotta have, it gotta have that balance, bro. It gotta yeah. have, yeah, it gotta have that texture in there. Give me uh, chicken wings or chicken breast. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Man, I love a good breast. It depends on how you cook oh, it. Oh, All right, chicken wings. Ass versus titties. Damn, I can't do evenly proportioned. Damn, dog. Let me get the ass though. Yeah, <laughs> let, me get the, let me get the ass though. Shit, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Cause honestly, I don't even look at it either. I just look at the face first, though. Yeah. That's just me. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I gotta opt out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one you can tolerate, dog? Motherfucking bad hair or bad breath on the chick? <laughs> like, I'm talking about their hair looking fucked, like nigga. I'm talking about nap, nigga. Everything that bitch bald hair, like nigga. All that shit. She look mm -hmm. like me. Neither do better. Yeah, just better yourself. <laughs> why is that even? What the fuck, bro? Why did you even? Like, and then the fact that you let her, like, what the fuck? Yeah. That, no, that's too much shit wrong with that, bro. <laughs> the fact that she cool with that, she like, shit, I got options. I can be fucked up here or fucked up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makeup or no makeup on a chick? No makeup. No makeup. Hell yeah, natural shit, dog. Yeah. That natural shit, dog. All right, thick chick, slim chick. Slim for me. I love me a thick bitch. I love them out of bodies. Thanksgiving versus motherfucking Christmas. Christmas. Christmas for sure. Christmas. All right, shit. Let me go ahead. You need uh, Doughboy Cash Out Team Eastside. Damn, I like Doughboy's Cash Out. I like Team Eastside. All right, man. Well, shit. We use it in this shelf on Jump Moment, Hot Moment. Dave, you too young to drink, so I ain't gonna ask that story. <laughs> but you. You got any new uh, how drunk moments, dog? Damn, new how? Anything yeah. new that you was fucked up on, dog? No, dog. I just smoke weed and uh, eat chicken wings. <laughs> that's all I. That's yeah. That's hey. I think the chicken wings is getting back cheaper and more feasible. So, Man, shit. hell no. Did they not? See, I know I go. Well, when I go to Gordon's, nigga, bag of chicken wings be high as fuck. Oh. You well, shit, you feed yourself, nigga, so you probably look at prices different. Yeah, y'all be feed, y'all feed the family and motherfucking yeah, five, uh, nigga. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, my fucking bad, nigga, shit. <laughs> I won't pull out in five years, nigga, and then no, I'll, be, you silly I'll be straight. We had that convo again. Yeah, hey, nigga. man, we gonna end this shit off, dog. This is the first time ever, dog. We got a producer, we got a rapper. My man's gonna rap over New Wave Dave Beats, dog. And I chose this nigga because I just feel like, nigga, shit, I like the way he had rap last time. Nigga, shit, don't, shit I ain't got to slay myself. <laughs> <laughs> and shit, you know what I'm saying? Shy style, motherfucking Tuesday, man. I stamped this nigga, man. I told him he was the truth, man. <laughs> I don't tell too many that niggas that shit, dog. Oh, oh my God. Shout out to everybody, man. We got fully in this bitch. Man, this B.I.G. Yo, bitch still doing the last part, nigga. That bitch ass nigga got a glass heart. All right, my nigga Dave made the beat. So then I still kill it Your girlfriend gave me the pussy And I still drill it Guarantee I'm doctor Hold on Cause I'm gonna still feel it Okay half of these pills is fake But check that new prescription Still up in that one bag Okay so now I'm self scanning Bitch said she wanna punch some shit Okay well that's domestic Okay we now on the flight But now this bitch can't help it Okay this bitch smoking on something But this shit ain't cancerous Who the fuck fucking with food Like okay go get your list Then I'm a mm. Okay go get your shit Go ahead and get that list I'm guaranteed set on fire Guaranteed to bring him in the building And set that nigga on fire
fire, then fire him. Okay, yeah, you know I'm from Tyrement. Throw foes up and make your bitch so weird. Nigga, throw, mm, throw foes up, nigga. You know how I'm trying it. And put them condom in her pussy and make her fucking divide it. Nigga, then she stuff it. Guarantee, nigga, so woof it. Do you know the muffin man? But I can know that nigga bluffing. 30,000. Make your bitch do everything how I'm frowning. Make my white bitch make your white bitch like, mm, Ronda Rousey. Who the fucking fuck with me? Pound for pound, then let's dap it up. Told your girlfriend she got the wettest pussy. Mop it up. My niggas in this motherfucker. Now nah, you better stop acting up. Bro, put the stamp on this bitch. Nigga, I just wrapped it up. Nigga, it's Christmas Eve. Your girlfriend still bagging up. That's them Christmas leaves. Niggas never raked that shit before. That's how it's finna be. Niggas never seen some shit fall. They never seen a tree. Guaranteed I'm bagging this shit up. You never seen a leaf? Niggas still rolling. Guaranteed I'm still going. Yeah, I'm dunking on your bitch. Strong as hell like Hulk Hogan. Who the fuck can't move a what? Guarantee I got the motion. Yeah, your bitch still diving in it while I'm flying in her ocean. Nigga, I'm still like Nova Kane. I'm still Frank. So who the fuck is telling me I'm no? Okay, that's still ocean. Tell your girlfriend that we gon' still boat it. Gloating on your beat. I'm just still boasting. Put a circle around your bitch mouth. Oh, she's still coasting. Half these rappers ass, I guarantee. Cause they still know it. And they still rapping. Yeah, they still rolling. But they ain't rocking with niggas. Okay, I'd rather shoot them in the face or probably sock a nigga. Boy, this ain't no bopping, nigga. Your girlfriend treat me like that toy. She twist me, jerk me, and pull me like a okay, nigga. She bopping, nigga. Getting on her knees and then she bopping niggas. I ain't talking about freestyle, but she probably topping niggas. And she in the top five. And that bitch ain't get shit but a high five. Nigga, man, come on, bro. Man, man, man we on shot podcast with your bitch giving out the ass, nigga. We got Q Lewis on the ones and twos. You know what we gonna do? We got Dave on the beat. Your bitch still a freak. Nigga, we hitting her all week, nigga. Man, come on, man. We in this bitch. Man, what? Hey, man. The fuck y'all niggas doing, man? No way. Where y'all rap niggas at, man? Rap, motherfucker. Stop coming with like eight bars, nigga. He was on here for an hour talking. You only came with eight bars. Hold on. Yeah, man. Hey, man. For y'all that don't know, y'all can probably hear the beat. <laughs> y'all can hear the beat. <laughs> but my man's was half hearing that bitch, dog. <laughs> hey, yeah. That, hey, that's the story time, bro. The fuck yeah. it, uh, we was half hearing the beat. Bro. I, I don't know how to even tell the story, nigga. But yeah. Duh, hell man, yeah. freestyle of the year, nigga. Freestyle of the nigga. Your life freestyle. Yeah. Your baby mama food stamp sure. account. All that shit, bro. Man, Dave just seen this shit. So when he put the tag on it, nigga, your bitch already know she's gonna have to put her ass on it, nigga. And shake it. <laughs> nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this Hell bitch. yeah, man. But no, nah, hey, man, I appreciate y'all coming on this bitch. I usually don't ever do two people, but I felt like it just go, man. Rapper, producer, and I shit. I was doing it all the time. Yeah. All right, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. They, be, my bad. Yeah, shit. Yeah. they have fun. For the show, man. What can the, uh, where can the people find y'all at, man? All that good shit, dog. All y'all socials and where the mistake, I mean, where the tapes, I said mistake. Y'all can find me where everywhere on all streaming platforms and social media, B-I-G, and that's an F-2-O's L-A-Y. Once again, B-I-G, F-2-O's L-A-Y. What about you, man, Dave, man? Where you if find you want to buy some beats, <laughs> follow me. Buy some fucking beats. At newwave.dave. Yeah. If you want to talk business, talk to my manager or contact my Instagram at bt.dave. Yo, yeah, man. Manager is at, at Deshaun. What's your shit, man? At Deshaun, what? I am Deshaun. Oh, I am Deshaun, I am man. Deshaun, Deshaun, cool, Deshaun cool, cool, man. Ass. Cooper and shit, man. Uh, shout out to Spirit Detroit. That shit be here pretty soon, man. So tap in with him on that shit, dog. And Black that nigga, Spirits. Huh? Black Spirits. I said Spirit of Detroit, then I. Black Spirits of Detroit, man. And he gonna get you together, man. Get you some Duke of Dame. If you ain't got no Duke of Dame, you fucking with the lane. You feel me? That shit smooth, man. Go down like your motherfucking bitch do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, man. I'm like, this motherfucking no. lane. Dropping off on me, cuz. Man, you me? You feel me, man? What's some shit y'all want to go ahead and leave people with, dog? Some good, some good words, man. Keep going. Yeah, Keep yeah. going. We in this bitch right now. It's fourth quarter shit. Keep going. Shit, what about you, Dave? Uh, don't be stupid. Hell yeah, don't be stupid. Don't play. Add tunnel vision. But still be open to listen, you know. For and sure. Just, you know, work, nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, all that good shit, man. Hey, man, if y'all young, man, stop bullshit. If y'all old, man, stop bullshit, man. man. Shout out to everybody. Podcast MVP, Voice of Detroit. These other podcasts are fucking.